Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Gadget Prep with G Gaming. Starting off the series, today I'm going to start a new series called G Talks. It's going to talk about, you know, topics, game news, or something like that each week. Today I'm going to talk about CSGO, what, what things I hate about CSGO, what things I don't like. So let's start, uh, let's don't talk about blah 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 and let's go on with the story. So Smurfs slash Hackers. Oh my days. Smurfs. Uh, let's leave Smurfs for a while. Let, let's talk Hackers first. I So far, I have played roughly 60 matches. I have encountered Hackers three times. But when I encountered Hackers, I think I have encountered it five times, but uh, some of them are really good Smurfs, so let's leave it at that. But three times, there is evidence. It's pretty much like a one-sided fight, and their team there is one person has no death or like let's say two three deaths like 30 40 kills two uh what well, trigger bots and one one waller that's the big problem waller you know you're going you're gonna rush a you're gonna rush b this guy knows where you are he can go and camp where he, he needs to be for he was at dust too he goes and hides behind the barrels he hides near the pit. That's the usual hiding spots. But this guy was hiding in front of the door. He was hiding in front of the door. So basically, you have to come through the door. He's literally in front of the door, but he's hidden in a way that you can't see see you. And he's at this, he has a P90 and he's going boom, 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 spraying at you. So he can guarantee kill the whole team. That's pretty much what he was doing. But he did it each way. When you go into a B site, he rushed and went that's it that's how I went then the, the trigger bot this guy was triggering with the negative uh, what's it called P90 at long at quite a distance come on that distance they shouldn't be doing one shot headshots they shouldn't so the AWP, this guy was using AWP the whole time. Every shot he done was pretty much a kill. Uh, but there were some shots where we thought he was a pre-fire. Uh, one of the teammates, he ran and I told him, come back quickly, that they're going B side. I just wanted to see what was going on. He, when he ran, uh, when he ran and he turned around, there was a shot, it was a pre-fire. So I think the character went into the scope and when he ran back straight away, it might be in a pre-fight. So that, that, that's what I hear about hackers. Next is smurfs. There are smurfs which are, basically smurfs are a double-edged sword. When they're on your team, woo hoo hoo, you're gonna win that round. You can win that match basically. But when they're the enemy's team, you're gonna lose that match. Then there is a different type of smurf which I hate. Road to silver. Every time, since the, new, the update about ranks happened, I've been ranked from Master Guardian 2 to Cold Nova Master. Then, uh, every single match I've been, out of 5 matches, 3 matches, I have Smurfs who wants to go to Silver mode. They have been taking the piss because they don't play serious. They only play serious a bit, like 2-3 rounds, because they want to play serious. They go road to, uh, they don't do anything, okay, they do play. But they want to go and get killed first, so the match goes quickly, so they get the lost, so they can rank down. What is wrong with you people, man? Come on, honestly. Anyway, <laughs> Valve, can you sort something out like that or something? Please. Next is the DJ. It's a person who pl puts music in the background from his mic. You have headphones. Can you put music in your headphones? I don't want to hear it. I'm pro busy trying to listen to the of uh, footsteps sometimes you've got new good music I don't really complain sometimes you have screamo the guy that is <laughs> I don't want to scream but the guy is screaming like a motherfucking seriously they're screaming I don't like that that's too loud and if you're wearing headphones please put on your headphones don't put on a loudspeaker and put it on the microphone seriously Next thing is language barrier. Uh, I don't mind people who do not know how to speak English. If they know how to type, 
you know, the basic commands were saying A, B, two at A, three at B, two at mid. That is okay. If they can say that as well, I'm not complaining. But when I'm playing in a server, you get, you know, geographically, where I, I'm in the UK, so I don't mind playing with uh, European guys and some American guys because my ping won't be affected. I'm getting placed in Russian with, you know, everybody's pretty much Russian. My ping is off the roof. It's not off the roof. It's like um, 80 or 90. And these guys are like 10, 20, 30. What is, I'm lagging here and you put me in a wrong set. It's like you put me in a wrong server. This has, after I have been deranked, I've been put into so many Russian matches already. This is bad. When I was Master Guardian 2, before the new ranking system, I was always in U basically American, UK, something like that. UK, you know, European, like Belgium, uh, France, Spain or something. Mm -hmm. If they don't know how to speak English, they don't say A, B, C, A, B, mid. I'm not complaining. I'm not, you know, at least you can try to do some teamwork and work, work with each other. Also, with that language barrier, you get kicked for stupid reasons. Uh, and also, I'm going to talk about stupid reasons as well. Because they're telling me to go to this section. I don't know what you're saying. They might be saying, uh, in the mid, uh, they might be saying he's around the corner or something. You're busy screaming around the corner. I can't, if I was hearing, it, I have a 7.1 surround sound headphone, so I can pretty much hear around me. But I need silence for that to work. So this guy is screaming in my ears, and I can't hear him, hear the footsteps. Because I couldn't hear the footsteps, I died. But if I wasn't, there would be a 50% chance of me not dying if he wasn't talking. Because I could have reacted on time and killed him with a lucky headshot or something. I could have turned around and got killed straight away. But please do not scream. Net, uh, and Valve, please sort out your geographical mapping and all that. If there was a server where, you know, we could select which countries we could play with or, you know, how far, you know, what ping my level is. If I say I want to play, my ping is usually at 20. So I'll, uh, if I can select, I want to play in, in areas where my ping is maximum 30. So I don't need to worry about any lag or anything and I don't have to worry about anything. So I wish Valve can sort that out. Then we got the flasher. You know, when this is, well, this usually occurs on the T-Sport. So you want to go rush A or B. Sometimes one of your teammates put a smoke or you put a smoke. So you can do, use the element of surprise and catch them go, guns blazing. You there, you there, go bang, bang, bang. This guy put a flash, a flash before, like just before we run. This is, this is what happened. I wish I recorded, I, I wish I downloaded the Val files so I could show you. Basically, this guy flashed us just as we ran out of smoke. So there's two people at the B side in Dust 2. He's at uh, the window and he kind of killed us all. Well, basically, by the time one of one of the teammates noticed he, he got unflushed, basically he was not he can visibly see everything. He 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 saw, the last thing he saw was a sniper. Bang! The guy killed him. Game over. So please, if you don't know how to use a flash, keep it in your pocket. When you see an enemy, just flash it before you go to the enemy. Don't flash it when you don't know. If if you if you want to use it, use it at a time where we where the smoke happened. Tell your teammates they so they can wait and say, "Oh, okay, flash it." We put the smoke so we can use that element of surprise and go and bang them, uh, not bang them, yeah, shoot them down. Please do not just go like a headless chicken and go flash everything. There is people who run like headless chickens with the bomb. How many times have I seen this before? Too many times. So all your team. This happens in teaspoon, of course. Teaspoon, you're going left, and your all your teammates are going B side. This guy goes ASAP, or he might just go down the middle to get killed. Up in the middle, shooting, bang, bang, bang. So let's say you clear B site or A site. Then you know, it's, where's the bomb? It might be on the other side or it's in the middle. Guess what your enemy is thinking? Enemy teams already surrounded. They have already like, and let's say two people were in the enemies on one side. You kill all two people. There's three people. Three people hiding on known common spots. 
they are going to definitely destroy you. That is stupid. Do not, do not run with the bomb solo. Counter Strike is a game where you need to do. Think on solo, play team deathmatch, and it, you have to work. You have to work with a team to win the match. If you don't work with a team, you're not going to get the wins. So you're not going to get a rank. Nothing like that. Also, op. There are people at the start of the match, let's say two, three, four rounds, that I can I have the op, please. Can I have the op? Can I have the op? Can I have the op? You suck, man. You're on the bottom of the list. You have no money. The top player. Sometimes I'm the top player. Sometimes a lot of people are top players. I usually come second or third. I'm not saying I'm great, but I'm gonna say I'm okay. I'm a little, you know, okay. You want to up and you're the bottom fragger? Come on! If you're the second of second or first and you don't have money for up and your teammate does, okay, go and give for up. But if you don't know how, if you're shit, don't don't use up. There are people who use up all the time when they have the chance, and they are shit. I am gonna say this: they are shit. I'm personally good with the op, but I prefer not to use the op at all because uh, depends on the map as well, and depends on how I feel like. If I'm using op, it'll be you know I don't want to use the op all the time, and there could be a chance of me flopping. Plus, you know when it clicks to get the next bu uh, next bullet, you might be killed by that time. When I'm using AK and for one day. Bang bang tap tap shoot you you're gonna pretty much kill the guy. If you're shit with the orb, give it to the person who's better with the orb. Come on, you know it's no brainer. Don't keep the orb. Don't hug it. Don't say oh I'm good with the orb. You might be good with the orb. I might say I'm good with the orb, but in reality, when you're versing other people in the matches, you suck with the orb. So next is players who quit at the start of the match. Dude, you join the competitive mode to quit the match. Let's say you uh, your team lost two rounds. There were so many times we turned that around and won the match. We won 16-2. One of the teammates left the match. This is one thing which happened. We lost two times, but the MVP got, uh, you know, top player. Put himself up on the third round. I uh, he does a headshot on the team player and uh, abandons the game. I took the up. I did get two kills. We did win that round. We did win the game eventually. We used the bot, of course. If you don't know what a bot is, if it don't, it's no teammate, the bot will be running around. Make sure you use said to command it. Make sure you make it stay in one spot. Press the said and it says hold still. Make it. Hide and stay in the base. If one of your teammates die or you die, press E on the bot so you have full control of the bot. Helps you out. There, there I was in literally in a match where no one knows how to use a freaking bot. I'm like this. Really, really. And the, don't don't start a match to quit at the thing. And there are people who say, "Kick me, kick me, kick me." Shut the fuck up. Choose abandon or just play the game. You're the ones. There are people who are on top want to get kicked. But I don't want to kick you lot. But there are people on the bottom. They are the shitters. They're not contributing to anything. They might have 20 deaths and like 10. Half the time I see it, they're like 5 deaths, 5 kills. They're not contributing. The shit. So please. Do not watch for the kick me. If you're playing my match, if you say kick me, I'm on. If everybody says kick, I'm gonna press F2. You're not getting kicked. Bad manners. Oh my days. Bad manners is such a pain in the ass. Okay. I was playing match in Dust 2. I, I pretty much play Mirage in Dust 2, so sorry about this, guys, if you don't like this, but playing Dust 2. I was a terrorist top spawn. I prefer the M418S over the AK47. Teammate picked up an AK47. I asked the teammate, is it possible can I get the AK47? If he said yes, I'll be happy. 
If he said no, I'll be okay, cool, I'll use the AK. This guy says shut the fuck up in chat. This guy hasn't doesn't have a microphone, so I'm okay. I'm happy about that as well. Then I said pardon, then he said shut the fuck up. And I said, What the fuck's wrong with you? This guy was not top place, he was below me in the school. He was in the fourth place while I was in second place. And he's this guy was like all hyped up and he's like, I'm better than you, I'm better than you. And in the end, he got 7 and 20 deaths. What do we say? You know, if, you, if you're going to have bad manners, and the team did this come off at the end of the match, because we won, and this guy was like, say, I'm the best. He's like, he thinks he's some optic shit. He's not, he's shit. So let's, let's leave that. Don't have bad manners. It's going to make your team gameplay bad. Next thing is MVPs you don't buy for shit. You have 16,000, you have the AWP, you have everything. These guys are the top players, most likely the top players. They don't buy for shit. Let's say I'm like, I got my AK-40, I, I got my armor and everything for the last match. And I bought, I picked up the AWP. Body wants it. MVP wants it. I give him the AWP. MVP doesn't give me anything. Come on, give you got all this cash and you can't give me an MVP or AK forty seven or something. I shouldn't give the MVP anyway. AWP. There are people who have too much cash, they won't give it to you. So this is pretty much it. What do you think of this series? Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh subscribe for G Talks every Wednesday. Topic about gaming each week. So see you guys. If you like the video, press that like button and subscribe for future content. On Facebook I'm doing monthly giveaway with skins each month. This month I'm gonna give away an M41A field tested bullet ring. Each month you get a chance to win a new a skin each month. So don't forget to subscribe and the entries just go and enter. The links in the description are up and go and stack up your entries to win. See you guys.